Hello and welcome to part four. In this part we're going to hook up the transmitter module to the transmitter board. Again the transmitter module is what comes in the RFA kit um, which will be linked in the description but this was covered in the previous video. Now what we're going to the transmitter module is the smaller piece of the RFA set. Now when you first get it these pins will actually be straight I pre-bent them before the video started because I want I want it to sit on the board as flat as possible off to the side now it won't be in danger of breaking off because of where it will be glued inside of the suit uh, but you know whatever your particular situation is you might want to have it situated some other way now it has to kind of veer off in this direction because all of these pinouts, excuse me, are um, soldered together on the inside of this board. Oh, jeez, all thumbs. But you can see there, this proto side is all connected, so you kind of have to put it uh, off to the side here, like that. Now, I've also pre-cut uh, and measured my wire pieces. Uh, now, in order to figure this part out, uh, when you go go to the website to order this from Pickaxe, you have two options. You can you click on the item on the website and it'll bring up uh, a section where you can either click on details or order or some, something like that. Um, I believe PDF is one of them. Now the PDF, if you open that up, will give all the instructions um, for hooking it up and wiring it and such. But for this particular video um, and what I'm doing, I only needed to print out pages 5, 6, and page 9 of that PDF. Now I'll link uh, in the description to where you can find these. but. Page five is pretty much just the explana explanations of all the pinout sections on the transmitter board. That's these sections off to the side here. Um, and they're, they have little uh, names on them. Uh, zero V for ground, uh, TX EN is the um, transmit enable pin. Now, you can check that out on the uh, PDFs here, but we really don't need to go over that for this. So, if you look at the instructions, uh, it shows the transmitter, and it shows the pins coming off of it, and where they need to connect to. Now, I'm not going to follow these uh, colors exactly. I'm going to make this bottom one, which is green here, that's actually your ground wire. I'm going to reverse that with the data, the TX line, uh, just because I like to keep my grounds um, black wires. Uh, I know they're normally green with like home wiring and stuff, but um, I, I like to keep it black. So, so like I said, I already have those wires pre-cut and measured. So all we're going to do is solder the transmitter chip to the transmitter board and then we're going to wire in all these pieces to their particular location and then this last one is the antenna uh, for this I actually I'm going to use red wire uh, because it'll be easier to camouflage where I'm going to put this so let's get started on that um, so just to save time like I said I've pre-cut all these wires so what we're gonna do first thing is solder this guy into place now because I already have the wires bent they should hold themselves into place so I'm just going to solder one really quick here Okay, now keep the iron on that, 
realign where I wanted it but cool okay and that'll hold it in position for me to solder the rest of the wire so let's do that really quick Okay, that's that. Now, now that that's all done, let's start with the bottom pin, which is the ground. So for that we're gonna use, or I'm gonna use black wire, and I'm going to use just underneath the um, five volt pin outs, or pin ins, I should say. Um, just below that there is a section for ground so I'm going to use those and just run my wire from one slot to the other I, I cut these to make them as straight as possible um, and as short as possible and um, to prevent them from overlapping each other so again let's just clamp that into place and then solder these two pieces in. Now when I'm all done soldering all these pieces into place I will trim them even closer. Um, in the last in the previous videos you could see me with my little clippers here going around to some of the wires to chip off the extra but I'll be going in again and getting a little closer and then taking a little file just to smooth them out, make them nice. Um, it just makes it so it's a little bit cleaner looking. Okay, that one's in place. Next we're going to go with the data, which for that I'm going to be using the green. But again, the instructions indicate that as being a black wire, but again I'm going to be using the green. So we're going to run second pin that's the second pin here we're gonna run that to the TX which is actually going to be this one here now yes okay so I actually will have one wire overlapping but you know what let's sorry about this let's do the red wire first um, the red wire is going to go to the third pin on this board and it's going to go to the TXEN pin spot so right there right underneath the zero volt line so we're going to go right into there and that should be holding itself into place sometimes you pre-plan this and then I think I moved the uh, transmitter uh, module itself I think I had it in a different location a few minutes ago when I pre-cut all these wires so just a very minor change Okay, all right, that's into play. Let's just trim these a little bit closer. Let's clean this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we'll do a green line. Now what we'll do here is jump over this red. Careful not to make contact with the other piece of copper but I'm just going to overlap just like that uh, to get to this TX line so the data goes to the TX okay now again that should hold it sorry for the church bells if you can hear that uh, I guess they don't really have to apologize for those but uh, one very close outside and solder that in place 
And that's that. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. I think I hit the mic there. My apologies for that noise dis disruption as well. Let's trim a couple of these. Sorry, I know this is a little bit tedious and not very interesting, but just kind of cleans that up a little bit there. Yeah, that looks nice and even. Okay, now we have those three wires into place, and that is that. So what we're going to do next is the antenna, and that's this fourth pin. So we're just going to slip this in there, bend it over a little bit so it holds itself into place. Now, when I actually clamp this down on my little board here, uh, I actually have the board and the wire clamp in, inside that clamp to hold it, help hold it into place. It's very convenient. Okay, throw that in there. And that's all done. Okay, that looks good. Now, I have my batteries. Now, I have not tested this yet. Now these batteries, <laughs> I say this, but let's grab some of these. I was going to say these batteries are ones that I used in my Iron Man suit. Some, some of these might be dead or nearly dead. But I'm just going to throw some of these in there. And you saw the light blink. That means it should be working if I press this. Okay. All right. I think maybe I didn't need that pin there. But if you press the button, it's that test light should mean that it's transmitting. Now, hopefully when um, I put the receiver together, we'll be able to test these together and make sure they work but that's all that's to it um, as far as the transmitter goes so uh, see you next time in the next video we'll be going over the receiver module and wiring that to the board and wiring my new battery setup to that board so that we can actually test this out so see you next video uh, thanks for watching